Welcome to Pivot Learning Partners tutorial video on how to use our tool to create your LCAP or SPSA plan. We've designed the tool to be as user friendly as possible and quickly help you create your LCAP or SPSA. Let's do a step by step walkthrough on how to create a customized plan for your district. Access to the tool starts with a simple one time setup of your account. After the initial setup process, you can enter your username and password here to access your plans. Once you are in the tool, if you have created more than one plan while setting up your account, you can quickly select which plan you want to start working on first from the drop-down menu in the upper right-hand corner. Any of the LCAP or SPSAs that you initially chose to include when setting up your login for your district will be included here. Later, if you choose to add more plans, they will also show up here once you create them. For this demonstration, we will select a sample plan called LCAP123 for the 2015 to 2018 school year. For each plan, the timeline below maps out how we have suggested you create your plans over the year in order to promote a thoughtful planning and budgeting process. There are also trainings and quick guides available to download and modify to fit the needs of your district. While we suggest you follow the order we have outlined, it is not required. All you have to do to get started is choose a section from the bar at the top of the screen. For this example, we'll start by clicking on the planning process. In the plan section, you enter your goals, actions, and expenditures for your LCAP. Here is an example of a sample plan. In order to edit one of the existing goals, you click on Edit Goal. The sections that are required for the state LCAP template are shown in bold with an asterisk. For the goals section, you can see examples of what is required, including the identified need, metrics, description of LCAP goals, the subgroups identified, and the state priority areas. Next, you can add or edit new actions and services to your plan. If you click on Edit New Actions, you can see that any goal information autofills automatically in order to make the process of aligning actions, expenditures, and funding sources easier. Here you will enter this information for all three years of your plan. There are also several other exciting features that are part of the tool. To access additional features, click on the Settings tab in the top right-hand corner. You can easily create new plans, customize your plans to match district settings, upload other resources, and roll over your plans every year with the information from the previous year. If you click District Settings, you can customize various sections of the tool to better match your district's context. For example, if you notice that under the Choices of Metrics, a local reading test you use in your district is not included, you can click Edit Metrics in order to include it in the list. Here you can add the local reading test to your master list of metrics and save it to the list by clicking the Save button. Then, when you return to the goal section later, it will be included in the master list of metric choices. Here you can also choose to add users to be able to access some or all of the plans you have set up. All you have to do is enter the user's first and last name, email address, and what plans you would like them to have access to. Once this information is filled out, login information will be sent directly to that user. A great example is if a district wants to set up all of their principals with SPSA plans. They can set up each principal with access to only their school's plan. At the same time, the district administrator would have access to all of the plans. After you have completed the planning and budgeting process, or at any point during the process, you can click on the Reports tab and access a large variety of different budget, community, and other reports for your district. Once you click on the LCAP Report button, you can see how all of the data that has been entered has been transferred directly into the state required template. The process for creating the SPSA is nearly identical but has some differences based on the requirements of the SPSA template in the CDE website. If you need more information about using the tool, Pivot Learning Partners is here to help and can support you through the entire process. Please contact us if you need any assistance.